so in this video we will study about uh, the magnitude of the equilibrium const constant and some other uh, uh, math manipulation how we can do some math with the equilibrium constant so first thing is this uh, as we have seen in the previous video that equilibrium constant k can be very small or very large so what does it means if k is very small than 1 sorry this is very large so k is a, if k is very large than 1 means the reaction will be product favored the amount of the product will be larger the amount of the product will form more so the reaction is product favor if k is very large suppose 10 raise power 3 10 raise power 4 or 10 like that k values right product predominate at the equilibrium and if k is very small so this is large k large k this is the large k condition and if this k is very small a small k if k is very less than 1 or very less it means reactants are not converting into products reaction is very slow or we can also say the reaction is reactant favored only reactants are forming not the product so re this reaction is called reactant predominate reactant predominate at equilibrium <coughs> so this is the uh, detail about the magnitude of uh, k if it is very small or very large in case of a small it could be like a 10 this power minus 3 10 this power minus 4 10 this power minus 11 like that 10 this power minus 6 so these are the conditions are called a small k than the 1 and next is uh, what about the math manipulation so in case of math if we are going to multiply k what happen multiplying k equations multiplying the k constant if you multiply all the coefficients by a constant raise k to that con same constant what does it means for an example this reaction where ammonia is forming by nitrogen hydrogen and it is forming product ammonia k1 we can write for this reaction ammonia raised power 2 product divided by reactant nitrogen and hydrogen so nitrogen and hydrogen raised power 3 now if you see this reaction from here to here what is the difference you can see all the coefficients are here it is coefficient none means 1 2 become 2 3 become 6 2 become 4 it means we are multiplying the whole reaction by 2 if you are multiplying whole reaction by 2 k2 then we have to write ammonia raised power 2 4 nitrogen raised power 2 um, hydrogen raised power 6 so basically if you compare this values and if you compare this values so both are when we compare basically we can take a common of a raised power 2 this raised power 2 is common right so basically this and we can also write this whole equation as a this whole equation we can write as a k k1 this is k1 so we can also write the k2 will be equal to k1 square right so this power this power and multiplying constant is the same that is why whenever we multiply any reaction in equilibrium we raise the k value to the same constant we, i will uh, show you some examples then we can understand with one example also another 
example another manip manipulation is the reversing uh, reaction if k for 1.5 if k is equal to 1.5 for reaction a to b what is the value of equilibrium constant for b to a so if you see this reaction and this reaction what is the difference between these two basically they are just reversing the equation we reverse the equation right here reactant a here reactant b here product b here product a so if we will write the k for this reaction which is called forward reaction it would be b over a product divided by reactant if we are writing the k for the reverse reaction it would be again product divided by reactant but this time product will be a and the reactant will be b and if you will take the uh, math manipulation between these two so basically they are reverse of each other and reverse means they are inverse of each other right so we can also write k reverse will be equal to 1 over b a over b basically this will be b over a or k r is over 1 over forward so if you reverse a reaction take the inverse or reciprocal of k right so so be b over a means k forward so reversing the action it will be re reciprocal and next part is this math manipulation if we are going to add if we are going to add two reactions then how this math work so basically adding the reaction if you add two reactions the k of the net reaction of the product of the individuals so suppose if we have a reaction a plus b equal to c and c plus b equal to d and if we are going to add these two together suppose here is k1 for this reaction for this reaction is k2 and both are equilibrium so this will, this will become a plus b a plus 2b plus c and here will become c plus d and the k3 this is equation number one this is equation number two this is equation number three so for k3 will become k1 multiplied by k2 so if we are adding any two reactions the final k for the added reaction will be multiplication of individual k's so this was the uh, three scenario like multiplication or reversing and addition and if we are going to compare these with uh, thermochemistry or uh, let's see what happened here when in case of thermochemistry or when we discuss about the heat when we multiply any reaction by constant or coefficient basically we multiply the value of the same constant but in case of equilibrium we raise the k to that constant if we are reversing the reaction in the thermochemistry we reverse the sign of the heat delta h or delta s or delta g we reverse their sign but in case of equilibrium constant we take the reciprocal of k it would be reverse reciprocal and if we add the two reactions basically we add the values of heat or delta s or delta g with their sign but in case of equilibrium we multiply their k's so these were the some uh, math manipulation how we will take these and next is uh, we'll solve one question then uh, you can understand better 
So for an example, if we have this reaction where uh, cobalt oxide is reacting with hydrogen to make cobalt plus water, Kc for this reaction is given this one and then here is this another reaction. And based on these reaction calculate the equilibrium constant for hydrogen, carbon dioxide gas. So what's basically what they are doing, this is reaction number one, this is reaction number two and what we are seeing basically hydrogen is on the reactant side, this is on hydrogen on the reactant side, carbon dioxide gas on the product side, carbon dioxide gas on product side, no this is on the reactant side. Okay, so basically we have to rewrite our one more equation with the second reaction we have to flip. So we can do one thing that uh, we have to flip this reaction, flip or reverse. If we are going to flip this reaction, this will become CO solid plus CO2 and this will become COO solid plus CO. And if we are reversing the reaction, Kc, this is like Kc1, this is like Kc2. So Kc3 will become 1 over 490 because we reverse. So Kc will become reverse of this one. And then we will write this reaction as such. Cobalt oxide solid plus hydrogen and cobalt plus water right then what if we are going to add these two together add we are going to add these two to reaction together so this and this common on both side we can cancel it and what else we can cancel probably nothing we can cancel right now no we can cancel one more these two guys so now we can add H2 plus CO2 and this will become CO carbon monoxide and water. So Kc1 is, is still be remain same which is 67 and since we are adding these two together so I am going to give this reaction number 4. This will be my reaction number 4. So if we flip this one so this will become 3. So Kc4, Kc4 will become Kc3 multiplied by Kc1, right. So this is the way we can find the Kc3 will be 1 divided by 490 multiplied by 67 and the answer will be Kc4 will be 0 0.14 when C will divide this one. So this is the uh, one example how we can uh, work with the manipulation. So I will give you few more examples to understand this equation for an example question number one is here suppose we have this reaction where uh, this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2 and Kc for first equation is 25, what will be the Kc for second reaction? So you have to look at what is the difference. So basically if you see this from here to here, if you will multiply whole reaction by half, so this will become 1, this will become 1, this will become half, this will become 1. So basically Kc2, Kc right? Let's write down Kc2. So Kc2 will become, if we are multiplying, basically we have to do Kc, this will be Kc1, Kc1 raised power half, right? So you can add 25 divide and raised power half, basically under root of 25, you have to calculate. Next example. Another example in this uh, case will be here 2x plus y equal to 3z kc. So let's give this equation number 1, this equation number 2, k 
kc1 is equal to k what will be for this one so if you see this reaction 3z 3z is product here 3bz is reactant 2x oh basically this will be x and y will be this will be y so basically what we are going we are reversing this reaction reverse reaction this is my reverse reaction so reverse reaction means kc2 will be equal to 1 over kc1 or 1 over k that's it or we can write k inverse so this is the another example of math manipulation and the third one more example let's uh, look at and then we can complete this topic so for an example if we have equation number one equation number two equation number three a to b is kc this b c to b and a to c so we have to find for this one so what we can do so we can write a basically we have to move this c onto the product side so a to b this equation number one and i'm going to reverse this re equation flip this reaction so this will become b to c and kc this will become number four equation number four so kc4 will become one over kc2 means 1 over z and if we are going to add these two together b b cancel out a to c means this is my equation number 5 so k c 5 will become the product of this which is first and the 4 k c 1 multiplied by k c 4 which is y multiplied by 1 over z so y over 1 over z is that correct yeah we did not change the equation number one so kc1 y so y over z will be the kc5 for this react for this reaction so these were some examples about the manipulation